Art is a very strange subject. People say it's in the eye of the beholder, somewhat like beauty, but I disagree. Obviously, we all see different things within art and take different things from them, but we can all see if something is crap or if it is gold. This crap is something that someone has gone around plastering on the side of buildings, which are already stunning. Just look up at that building. I love this building. All right. It's a lovely old warehousing unit. Okay. And someone thinks they're going to improve it by sticking this cheap bit of plasticky crap on it. Right. And it goes ignored and people think that that's a genuine item of the area or the council have put it on. They haven't. There's another one there on the side of McGlynn's pub. Right. And someone's actually written not good underneath. Now, just before I close up, I will make the point that you'll notice with classical or wonderful art, you have to go out your way into galleries, whether you're looking at the ceiling in Greenwich or any of the numerous galleries where you have to go well out of your way just to go and see the majestic art, right? Why is it with modern art, whether it's a disgusting item built somewhere or the ridiculous things you get shoved in the Thames in North Greenwich that are all scaffolding, that's put in your face. We can't avoid that. We've got to walk around it, it blocks the view, it changes the skyline of the city. We can't avoid that. But if you want to see something stunning, you've got to go well out of your way. Why? Because the changing of what is and isn't wonderful has allowed wallies like this to get away with it. So art is not in the eye of the beholder as much as people would like to think it is, because we know bloody well what is and isn't crap.